I was getting confused what to wear. I have a lot of clothes but I feel I have nothing nice to wear. My cupboard is filled with clothes but I feel like nothing. Every girl problem is this. I sighed heavily taking a pair of clothes from the friend and started to wear it. Janku is talking in his phone. I can hear him getting angry at something. Janku is my husband who is kind but distant. I can't understand him. Yesterday I was coughing for a long time so he gave me medicine which helped me to sleep soundly. Then today morning he didn't talk a word to me. I am a reserved person but you see too I can't understand his mood. It is changing anti clockwise. I noticed Janko talk less to his friends same like me. I only have few friends who are close to me. I do talk less to them. We are same for one thing. And me and Janko don't like parties. We prefer less crowd around us. Once we went to a party, we were both having same forced smiling faces. As I was wondering, suddenly I can't zip my dress on my back. I keep on trying but I can't. Now what to do? Should I call Janko or wear another dress? Am I getting fat or this dress is tight? This dress is a problem. My body is perfect. I must call him. I slowly walk towards the door to slightly open to look. Jankook, you whispered his name. I don't want to shout so I whispered but Jankook can't hear. Hi sign waving my hand towards him but he was busy in his phone i lost my temper janko come here and help me to zip my dress he shouted i will call you back in an hour he said and ended the call i blush in embarrassment closing the door softly as i shouted at janko the person who was talking in his phone also heard my words janko came towards me Why and what happened to you to be angry? He asked as you explained. I was embarrassed, turning around as Jankook nodded, smiling, trying to zip my dress, but he too was struggling. I don't have time to get angry as his hand were touching my back. Why and I can't zip it he said getting tired Janko are you indirectly telling me that I am fat you are little bit angry No I am telling this dress must you wear only this dress ha huh? There are so many dresses on the shelf. 
he said by looking. Jungkook, you bought this dress for me to our anniversary day. Show this special, you said softly. Did you forget? You asked getting angry. No, how can I forget our special day? Finally, I zipped your dress. He said, looking at you, and left. I came outside, suddenly doorbell rang. I walked towards the door as someone delivered a lot of letter. I opened one by one and found out it was a love letter to YN. Vyan, how dare you cheat on me? He shouted. Jungkook, what are you saying? You asked as he threw all letter towards you. As Jungkook told, I took some from the floor and read the letters. I was shocked. I don't know where these letters came from. I must make Jungkook understand me. Jungkook, these are fake. I only love you. I will never cheat on you. You said looking at him. I don't want to hear anything. Get out of my life, he said angrily. But you are about to say. I said get out, he shouted, closing his eyes. As I yelled, I slowly opened my eyes to see why it disappeared. I sat on the floor wondering. After some time, I regret saying those words as I cried loudly. Vyel, I am sorry. Come back to me. I must have not said those words. I am angry, so I didn't think much. He said, crying on the floor. As I was crying loudly, calling Vyan name, suddenly she appeared in front of me. I hugged her tightly, not letting her to leave my side, saying sorry on his ears. Jungkook, this was all a prank, you said looking at him. From a long time, I was thinking to do a prank on Jungkook, but never got a chance. Now, I prepared everything. Seeing him crying made me sad, but suddenly he started to laugh loudly. I already know it was a prank because I know you will never cheat on me. I can trust you with my eyes closed, he said, making you angry. I acted with you as I wanted to make you taste your own medicine. You fell on your own prank, he said, laughing. Jungkook, I'll not leave you, you said, chasing him as you both fell on the bed happily.